Welcome to our final Vision 2020 special edition of First Look. As a mom of four, I'm always looking for exciting and uplifting things for my kids to be involved in. This summer, two of those unique opportunities are coming right here to FBS. Camp in the City, led by Pine Cove staff, is coming here to our church July 4th through 8th. Registration is open for kids who have completed K-5 through 5th grade. This full day camp is awesome, full of worship and Bible teaching and lots of fun. FBS is also hosting Payne Stewart Golf Camp again this summer. This is a great fun way to introduce a new sport to your child in a safe and exciting environment. Camp is July 18th through 22nd from 9 till noon in the gym. Kids ages 4 through 9 can participate in this awesome week here on campus. This Wednesday night is the second part of a four-week parenting study here at our church. We are meeting on Wednesday nights from 6.15 to 7.15, and we would love for you to join us. Head to fbs.org slash family for more info or to register. Now here's a member of our church family, one of the products of a fruitful and rich heritage here at First Spartanburg, excited about the future and Vision 2020. I am thankful to have grown up at First Baptist Spartanburg. There's so many blessings that I've experienced throughout my time here. I, I was baptized in the sanctuary that's right behind me by Dr. Walker uh, almost 30 years ago. And it's been a blessing to be a part of this body as I've grown older. Uh, through, the, through my time there, I have helped, helped put on vacation Bible schools in Kentucky. I've been a maximum security prison on Rikers Island. I've been on youth retreats. And, I, and more importantly, I have been poured into by men of this church to understand the cost of following Jesus and to be taught how to follow him well. I believe in Vision 2020 because I know the heart of the church. And the heart of the church is to see people come to know Jesus, grow in their knowledge of Jesus Christ, and be sent out to share the gospel with their surrounding community. Ashley and I could not imagine, uh, especially the last several years, uh, without First Baptist being a massive, a huge part of our life. And we're about to embark on a new adventure and go overseas with the International Mission Board to share the gospel with the nations. And we just, we are so thankful for the heart of Dr. Wilton and the church as a whole. And we are so excited to see what the Lord is going to do next. Let's keep looking for more ways to love God and those He puts in our path this week.